To honor our next award winner, please welcome the 2014 Next Generation She Rocks Award winner and lefty guitarist, the wonderful Melina Moy. All right, Melina. Oh, I am so honored to be here tonight. How you guys feeling? Lori did a wonderful job. Um, I'm thrilled to present an award to one of my personal favorite musicians. Best known for having played guitar for Michael Jackson's three solo world tours, as well as Super Bowl 27. this guitarist, who is amazing, has also toured and recorded with British guitar icon Jeff Beck. She recorded three solo CDs, written two music books, and released three instructional DVDs with TrueFire.com. She continues to tour the globe with performances and multimedia one-woman shows that feature guitar playing in sync with film projects projected onto a giant screen and regularly holds seminars, including her recent Self-Empowerment for the Modern Musician Experience series. Yeah, definitely. Miss Ma'am, you are truly, truly a role model for many, many musicians, male and female, including some of you that are in the room tonight. I know for myself, that is, I remember the first time I actually saw you on television, I was with my brothers, and I swear to God, I was just so blown, I, I was like, oh my God, that, that's a girl? I, I didn't mean to say this, I was like, she's amazing. I was so blown away. I'd never, ever, ever seen anything like that ever in my entire life. So me personally, just thank you so much for doing everything that you've done. I know that it was hard to get here. Thank you because you have influenced, like we said, me, I'm sure many girls. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the one and only Miss Jennifer Batten receiving the 2016 Icon She Rocks Award presented by Seymour Duncan. This is so dreamy. Yeah, I don't think I gave a speech since I was in sixth grade, but here we go. <laughs> when I first started playing guitar at age eight, my main motivation was my sister had a guitar and I didn't, and that pissed me off. <laughs> For my next birthday or Christmas, my parents got me what was pretty unusual at that time, an electric guitar. It was just like the Beatles and Stones were using on TV. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world and I started lessons immediately. It wasn't for another decade later that I realized that my ambition to take it further and make a career out of playing was unusual for someone of my gender. When I enrolled in the Musicians Institute, their third class ever, when it was only a guitar school. G-I-T. I wore my G-I-T t-shirt proudly. But I found myself alone in a sea of 60 male guitar players. It was kind of cool because I could use the, the bathroom to practice in. Great reverb, nobody was gonna come in. <laughs> I think I was also the only one that had never played in a band before because my mother would not allow me to go out into the night and play with strangers. Years after graduation, I returned to the chaos of LA. Y'all know what that's about for the next 20 years. And within three years, I found myself auditioning for Michael Jackson. I was instantly launched from the six original showcase bands I was showcasing with in Hollywood to the biggest tour on earth for 10 years, followed by the amazing experience of touring and recording with my guitar hero, Lifetime, Jeff Beck. Yeah, some, some nice bosses to have. It's more like a paid vacation than a gig. In 1987, MTV was at the peak and I thought the female musician revolution had begun. Wendy and Lisa were with Prince, and amongst the sea of anonymous females chosen for video window dressing in many MTV videos, there were a lot of, uh, well, a handful anyway, of other real players in heavy rotation. But then it, the progress seemed to stop for about 30 years. Now, finally, I think the real revolution has begun, in part because of the um, access to the internet, now there's not a month that goes by that I'm not turned on to some amazing female player from some spot in the world that is just killing it and often under 15 years old and sometimes seven. 
that kicks my ass. The purpose of this award is to be recognized for having had an influence. I've had some great highs in my career, but in this time of my life, it's the exchange of inspiration that means the most to me. When I receive an email from a player that thanks me for being the spark that got them started, I couldn't be prouder. Last summer, I decided to take my influence to the next level and launched the two-month, 10,000-mile tour around America with my pal, Jesse Solomon. Yeah, buddy. We toured in just about every Sam Ash store in the country. And um, thank you so much, the sponsors, Fishman. Um, I'm doing demos daily here at 11, 2, and 5 for the Triple Play Wireless MIDI system. Uh, Washburn supported that tour. Thank you very much. Kiss, kiss for my new guitar and all that. Uh, De Deodario and Lockett as well. And this tour, in part, launched a, a four-hour seminar I put together called the Self-Empowerment for the Modern Musician. It's a multi-subject, kind of a holistic support system for musicians covering all aspects of taking on a life of music in which I share just about everything I've learned, including all my ass kickings. <laughs> To have gotten the notice that I would be receiving this award mid-tour was like a big, big thumbs up from the cosmos that I'm headed in the right direction in paying it forward at this time in my life. So thank you so much for the recognition. In shopping for tonight, because I had to get shopping, okay? <laughs> the first thing I bought was a brand new knee. Knee replacement, yeah, I got a freshie for 2016. I spent the, the winter recovering from it. Anybody who has seen the tour vlogs from last summer that's on my YouTube channel knows all about the knee trouble and how Jesse had to drive about, oh, about at least 9,000 of those 10,000 miles. And I also got these groovy uh, fake alligator skin high tops. It's pretty rock and roll for the event today. But the coolest thing I got for this event, and I know you wouldn't believe me, so I had to keep it in my pocket, is this, the coolest socks I've ever seen anywhere that kind of sums up this whole evening. They're very dainty with girly colors and it says motherfucking girl power. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are the odds? Thank you so much. I think it's time to do some playing.